Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 38. Damn, yeah, 38 of this Etrian Odyssey Nexus Let's Play. Um, it's been a while since the last video, huh? Um, long story short, I was busy, uh, yeah, busy with finals, busy with graduating, and, uh, not busy job hunting. Yeah, it's, uh, exciting. It's very, it's exciting stuff that, uh, none of you guys probably care about. <laughs> or shouldn't care about. Um, let me just check my gear real fast. Um, yeah, this is a new team. I think in my last video I said that uh, I was going to do the maze first. But no. <laughs> we're not going to do the maze. Uh, we're going to go to the next labyrinth for now. Um, why? Because I've had... I have, haven't played this game in like a month. <laughs> I've been busy. Okay. Um, yeah, it's been a while. It's it's like um, uh, Golden Lair we're going to go into. Uh, let me just read the text before we move on. So uh, you arrive... You arrive... <laughs> I can't read. You arrive at a large cave where you first saw the mysterious figure. That figure, however, is nowhere to be seen. All you can see is smoke billowing out from within. Upon... Upon closer observation, you realize the smoke is actually steam. You can only imagine the sweltering heat that awaits. You steal yourself and carefully step inside. Cool. Golden Lair. I think that was from Etrian 4? Right? Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, it's been a while since my last video. Um, it's like I almost want to like consider this like Season 2. Season 2, Etrian Odyssey Nexus. Uh... Before I go on, as you step inside the cave, you immediately notice the incredibly warm temperature. Steam rises from a quiet stream nearby. What could be causing this drastic change in temperature? Curiosity abounds, but you decide to move on. Yeah, let's consider this. If this were like an anime or TV show or something. It's totally season two, guys. Uh, different animation team. It definitely got worse. Um, because we're on a budget. <laughs> uh, season 1 did not make as much money as we thought it What was this? There was something. Okay. So, uh, new team. It's a little weird. It's a little basic, to be honest. Um, you got a protector. You got a Highlander with uh, Shogun subjob. More on him later, though. And then we got a Lance Net. Yeah. Typical Link dude. He's gonna mainly do Links. Um, I have a Sovereign with Ninja subjob. <laughs> um, the Ninja subjob only comes in handy, honestly, for um boss fights. Okay, and then we got my Zodiac. Um, the guy... <laughs> the guy that I was super, super um, insistent on using, because I haven't used him since. Um, his subjob is actually Sovereign. Um, it's not the best subjob, but there's there's a reason why, and you'll see. You'll see later why. <laughs> I love this song. But yeah, this is like a weird suboptimal elemental damage team. Um, okay. Let's see. So, one of the main reasons why I wanted to have um, my Zodiac have the Sovereign sub-job is so that I can use elemental bombs. Uh, I mean, I think they're relatively cheap for how strong they are. Um, so, for these you gotta have shock. You have one of these uh, arm abilities on your team, and elemental bomb dispels that buff and deals the elemental damage. Um, so let's just dispel it for my tank, who doesn't really need it. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I guess he was uh, didn't have a chance. Oh, well. Um, so elemental bomb two. Mm -hmm. Has is a multi-hit move, and I think it works well with Landies. Um, yeah, that's about it. 
Anyway, uh, as you explore the labyrinth, you eventually come to a small opening. You've got a clear view of your surroundings here, so it's unlikely anything will take you by surprise. It might be a good time to rest. You can rest here if you like. Uh, let's not. We'll save it for later when we actually need uh, need to rest. Assuming it's going to be well. It's grasshoppers. So, huh, I'm not actually sure what my Highlander should do here. He's got taunt. Yeah, let's try. I'm going to try something different here. So, taunt. Oh, I don't think I have my shield move yet. Uh, Protector has a move that they absorb all the damage for one row. I don't think I unlocked it. I didn't. It's okay. Actually, ally shields. These guys are no elemental weakness. That sucks. And front command. Do I want to do that? No, let's not. Let's not do that. Never mind. We'll be boring. Uh, mission thrust. Hmm. I really like this song a lot. <laughs> it's a good song. Obvious. <laughs> and let's try elemental bomb again. <laughs> yep. That's about what's that? Like three hundred forty damage? It's okay. It is okay. Um, their star abilities, Zodiac star abilities, will do more damage um, than an elemental bomb. But I mean, I don't know. I think it's fun. I think it's fun. As you explore the cave, you see something shiny on the ground before you. Was it your imagination or something really there? You take a few steps forward to find a half-buried coin. You can dig it out if you wish. Let's do it. It's not every day you find money on the ground. Might as well dig it out. You decide to dig out the coin. But the dense, hard soil surrounding it won't make it easy. It may take some effort. Let's make uh, Highlander do it. Hashu uses their weapon to start digging at the rock of solid earth. It's taking, it's taking some time to dig even just a little bit. Hashu starts to sweat. Thanks to Hashu's efforts, you obtain a few coins. Still only a hundred. After much effort, uh, time and effort, you were able to obtain a few coins. It doesn't seem as though all that hard work was really worth it. You decide to return to your exploration. Yeah, it really wasn't. <laughs> that EXP, though. Um, I'm not sure. I wonder what weakness this team is going to have. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm already thinking about that. Um, no ailments. Yeah, that's one. Do I taunt? Do not. Let's try a front command. I like front command. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I'm like forgetting my commands. <laughs> Okay, um... Hmm. Man, I love the sound of that move. That fire move is just... sounds amazing. Uh, 
Uh, this is a shortcut, this blue stuff. Um, yeah, you know, as far as dungeons that they could have chosen, like, I feel like Golden Lair is a little boring. I mean, it's just a cave, you know. It looks, I mean, it looks cool, but I don't know what, which other one would I have chosen from four. I mean, obviously Hall of Darkness, but I mean, you're not choosing a post, mm -hmm. post stratum. Post game stratum is like cheating though. Uh, let's see. As you proceed through the cave, you reach a peculiar spot laden with sharp stone pillars. They almost look like torture devices. Tripping here would be very dangerous. Someone could get hurt or worse. You can break the pillars if you wish. Let's break the pillars. These pillars may end up hurting someone. Bearing this thought in mind, you decide to break them before any such event occurs. The pillars are tough, but with your weapons and a little brute force, you manage to crush them down and flatten the sharp points. Having completed the mission, you then spy something circular resting between the pillars. You pick it up to find it's a bracelet. Another adventurer must have dropped it. Lively armlet. Perhaps it's a reward for your good deed. You gratefully pocket the bracelet and continue exploring. I wonder what that does. My guess is like HP maybe? HP and defense? Or maybe it helps you stay awake. No, yeah, HP and defense. Let's do it. Okay. So far, I feel this floor is going to be small. Anyway, uh, making your way through the seemingly endless heat, you suddenly feel a draft of cool air from the area ahead. What could it be? Your curiosity entices you to take a look. Uh, we'll take a look in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> I thought there was more to that path. Actually, let's try the firewall. This guy does a fire move, right? <laughs> I think. Um... Spear assist. No, 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 no. Long thrust. Or, you know what? Just, you could just do regular attacks, because it'll be ice. It'll be weak, but who cares? Oh, that really hurts. That really hurt me. My, my back row. Come on, man. I gotta do me like that. Firestar. Cool. Yeah, I mean, for as much shit Zodiac gets, I really like the way their spells sound like. In a close quartered area, you look around and find the source of the cold air. It seems to be coming from the ground below. You can dig here if you're curious to know more. <sighs> I'm already yawning. Okay, that's mine. Ice stick. The ice stick you've acquired is cold to the touch, solid as metal, and extremely sharp. Even after holding it, after uh, even after holding it for a while, it doesn't seem as though it will melt. In fact, it's so cold it's starting to burn your hand. It's likely it won't melt even if you put it in your backpack. Cool. So. If this is anything like in 4, we're going to use that ice stick to melt this cave, or uh, freeze it, and uh, we're going to have sliding puzzles. This, this water is going to turn to ice. Watch. Watch. As you proceed through the warm cave, you look ahead to find something staring at you in the distance. The childlike creature speaks as though it were trying to intimidate you. <sighs> then disappears further into the cave. It didn't look like an adventurer. Who or what could it have been? Curious, you follow the creature's lead. Whoa. A shiny guy. 
Ant's gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't he? Yeah. Hopper, you're gonna run away, aren't you? They always run away from me. Second turn. Oh, never mind. Shield. Oops. And for Sovereign, final three. Okay. So you got an FOE coming up. Sure do. side. Funny. That's going to be a problem later. <laughs> While exploring the dismally humid cave, you eventually find a familiar face. Oh, yeah. This guy. Oh, you're here as well. Either he's not bothered by the humidity, or he has a skill that keeps the heat at bay. He addresses you with a cool-headed expression. You should know. There are some in this cave that would stand against you. And I'm not talking about the monsters. No, these creatures are far more advanced. He says this as if though he were able to read your thoughts. Have you seen them yet? Either way, this is no ordinary labyrinth. Do be careful. With that, Blot heads deep. Blot. Blot, however you say his name. Uh, heads deeper into the cave. Grasshopper. Bastard. God damn it. You bastard. I only have one nectar too. Um, 
Yeah, 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 one nectar. And no one has a raise. Ah, let's just walk a little further. Let's see what happens. Maybe we, won't, we can make it to the shortcut. Probably not. Maybe. I think we can. Uh, as the humidity takes its toll, you continue through the cave to find a familiar face. <laughs> oh, her. Oh, Tripper's Guild. Took you long enough. Princess Enrico greets you with a smile. I was hoping I'd get to explore this cave before you... And... Before you, yeah. <laughs> and get ahead of the competition, she states pridefully. Mm. However, it looks like I failed. There's something blocking the path ahead. According to Enrica, an extremely hot object is obstructing the way forward. But, maybe you can do something about it. Enrica continues, her eyes full of hope. Okay, I've made up my mind. Tripper's Guild, what if I join you? I'll help you until we get out of this cave. Of course, you'll have my thanks as well. She confidently asks for permission to join you. You may answer her however you like. Yeah, I guess we'll let her join. I guess. The whole unity thing and all that. Heh. <laughs> thanks. Enrica answers with a big smile as she joins your group. Alright, let's go. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way through here. She's joined. She won't join you in battle. She's sure to find and bestow you with treasures from the labyrinth. Oh, you recover TP as you explore it with her. That's cool. Cool. Yep. One of these things. Boiling lizard. Right? Anyway. Uh, you pass through the doors to find a pillar of red hot objects. The amount of heat radiating from the pillar is incredible. Though you're far away, you still feel your forehead begin to sweat. This must be what Enrico was talking about. If you found a way to pass beyond the smoldering object, then you may proceed. Yeah, I, I know what we're going to do. A bizarre object is glowing red with high heat. You may be able to destroy it by striking it with an ice stake. Let's do it. The bizarre object shatters. The ice stake lowered the object's temperature and broke it in one fell swoop. No sooner has the bizarre object been broken, then you feel the air in the labyrinth quickly cool. It seems the cave is returning to its original frigid temperature. The ice stick still retains its original form. You decide to keep it with you in case you come across any more of those objects. You put it away and continue exploring. It's just how we roll. Is this a chop? Was the last one a chop? Yeah, it was a chop. Oh. Um. Shortcut. Let's just activate this shortcut and get out of here. Okay. I, I'll, uh. I'll have to farm some more <laughs> nectar from, uh. Between uh, this video and the next. I'm just curious. Abyssal Sword. As all oh, it's a really good um, ninja dagger. Yeah. Mm, boulder bracers. That's a good one. Uh, okay. Let's get out of here. Right, no nectars, huh? Okay. Yeah, my back line is really fragile. I'll have to do something about that later. Not this time. I mean, not right now. No, 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 no. Alright, All right, back into the dungeon. Golden Lair. And it's hot again. And 
Yoka. Uh, I've been waiting for you, Trooper Skill. Let's head out. Okay, so that just means uh, that just means we gotta go back, and start this ice stuff again. Okay. Um. Nice guy. Uh, just regular attack. Every turn that he's done spinning, he has to take he has to take like a turn. You see there? Alright. I mean that's my guess. Um let's see what happens here. Oh no! <laughs> okay, um, let's run away. Okay, we got it. Uh, I think I can make it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, tricky. <laughs> tricky. In uh, my opinion, you know what? I just realized I forgot to accept the quest. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll do that in a second. Um, before I take the step down there. Uh, let's, yeah, let's head back. I see there's parts of the map I haven't explored yet. We'll do those in uh, a second. Let's get these quests. Oh yeah, Kimi Tachi. Uh, okay. Hmm? First quest. Uh, hmm, that request? Oh, that one's from Vivian. Well, isn't that rare? I barely ever get requests from her. Why? I wouldn't be surprised if cats started running from the sky today. You should speak with Vivian to hear about uh, what her request is about. Good luck, meow. Okay. Uh, next one. Hedge funding. Oh, that request. That's from the witch widow who lives in the house behind the tavern. Hmm. It's been pretty dangerous in the city lately, don't you think? Shadowy figures walking around, rumors of kidnappings. As such, she decided she wants to make the hedges around her house a bit taller. This widow is young and very beautiful, so she has plenty of suitors. She probably needs them to protect uh, herself from all those men. <laughs> What's that? She's protecting herself from me. <laughs> That's a good one. But please, no more of that. I don't think my heart could take it. <laughs> right, let's go over what's uh, what you need to bring in. She needs two tri-leaf stalks. You can chop from the gold, uh, chop some down in the golden lair. Good luck. Uh, chop quest. And Vivian is in the inn, right? Yeah. Whoa, Tripper's Guild accepted my request. An adventurer told me there's this warm, ro warm rock called a Scorch Stone. Apparently, you can get him from the Magma Spawn in the Golden Lair. I want you to bring a total of three from Mr. Merlin. Ugh. I sold those two, didn't I? I don't think I have any. No. Uh, I'll just get him next next floor. Um, let's get the, this chop. Let's chop. Yeah. Chop, chop. Uh, Mr. You know, has my my farmers haven't gained any levels, have they? 
<laughs> they have. Um, I stopped using the memory conch, which gives them EXP, but I should bring it back. Yeah, I should. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that next video. Um, actually, let's rest. Okay. Alright. Let's just gather. Gather and then get out of here. Um, I still want to explore that empty space though. Oh no. <laughs> this might be a game over. No, never mind. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I like farmers. <laughs> I'm so tempted to make a team and bring back my, um. What was his name? Lurky, my other farmer. But, uh. That sleep really trivializes so much, so much of the encounters. It's like guaranteed sleep, and, and then they can just like debuff the farmers. They're really good at that. Um, I used to think they're weak, but now I feel like once they get. Oh no! I didn't make a muster for this team, did I? Yeah, I did. Um. Once they get to level 40, like, Farmer is just super good. Really good. Okay, uh, oh, welcome back. So this is a tri-leaf stock. Ouch. Boy, did that hurt. Here, give it a try. You'll see. Ha ha ha, I'm just kidding. While you were out, I had a chat with the Widow. I told her she didn't have to do anything with her hedges. She just has to marry me. Then all those sleaze balls would leave her alone. Then she told me, you're the biggest sleaze ball of them all. Can you believe it? She was talking about me all along. Though now that I think of it, I was sh I was jumping up and down trying to sneak a peek of her, of her over the hedges. What a pervert. Uh, she was protecting, protecting herself from me. You were right after all. Here's your prize, or reward. Freeze talisman. <laughs> Uh, I should start leveling up his fire link now. Uh, sell shit. Hmm. Vertigo slash. Cool. My blind are stunned. Okay, um, thread. Things to do between now and my next video. Farm nectar and, um, I can't forget to accept the quest. Yeah. Okay, um... I won't say it now just because the video is about done, but I don't think I should. Did I show you guys my sub jobs for all my classes yet? Um, it's fairly basic, my team, to be honest. You'll see next more in depth next video, though. Um, not that it's too special. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this was a fairly decent floor. Actually, you know what? I forgot. I don't want to invert. I forgot to explore this stuff. Yeah. I'm out prime. Okay, what else? Yeah, my map is 
is terrible. I'm sorry to all of you OCD watchers. Not that many, <laughs> not that many people watch these. Um, I do it for fun. is very durable, but my back line is not. <laughs> uh, what do they have equipped, actually? Just regular armor. My Sovereign is taking more damage than I would like, actually. Uh, what is his name? Zodiac is just going to be fragile no matter what, though. Money, just what I need. Oops. It's like I got a farming team, you know? I, I, money is like no longer an obstacle. Okay. Um. Too many monsters. <laughs> um, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. This Astro Sign. There we go. And that's about it for the map, isn't it? Uh, just this corner, but I doubt there's anything here. Okay. And, uh, let's just go down the steps and we'll be done. We'll be done for today. Uh... Rare breeds. Yeah, this is a by the books for nothing, uh, I mean, I guess besides the sliding mechanic. Um, yeah, it's not, not so bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, I don't know if it's because my, you know, it's probably because my team is elemental based. Uh, otherwise, I can see I can see myself having some trouble here. What I doing? Let me just double check my shit. Uh... All right, spear reversal. I forgot about that one. I feel like having a Highlander is kind of a waste with my Sovereign in the same team, though. Just because, um, I don't get to use bloody offense as much. I mean, I still can. But Sovereign's already kind of just struggling a little bit. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> uh, okay. No, 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 no. Firearms. Because that ice wall that uh, my protector uses can only block one ice elemental attack. Oh. I guess it's no big deal. Floor 
to. Not bad. After descending the stairs, you hear a scream from deeper within the cave. The sound was both faint and far away, but you're certain it was a scream. It might be the childlike creature from earlier. If you're concerned for its safety, you'd better hurry. We're not. <laughs> We're not gonna hurry. Uh, in fact, you're gonna have to wait a couple days for my next video. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. It's just how things are, you know. You know, I got I still gotta work. Still got that work. Work going on. Uh, alright, sell so shit. Uh, that was a lot of armor. Ice rock breastplate. Oh, I know why he's... Oh, that's why he's weak. I gave him a breastplate that makes him go faster, but it lowered his defense a lot. That'll do it. That'll do it. And as for weapons... Um, yeah. Let's just store these items and then call it, call it a day. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's been a while again. Uh. Thanks for waiting. I guess. <laughs> um. Yeah. Life. You know. Life comes first. It's just. It's just how it is, right? Um, but either way, thank you for watching. Um, I won't take a month for the next video to go, video to go up. But um, yeah, thanks. I'll see you guys later.